one, all the credit goes to Nintendo. This is Nintendo Switch's how-to series, and for this, it is how to attach and detach a Joy-Con. Now, for Nintendo doing a how-to series on the Switch, like it's Nintendo Switch how-to series, that means, you know, there's going to be quite a few different versions. Not, uh, no, I said they're wrong. There's going to be... It, people are going to get confused easy, you know, they can, you can screenshot instantly by just pressing a button, you, um, you can record by pressing a button, I can't wait for this console, it's got potential, it's got all this stuff on the system, I wish Xbox One, uh, it's controllers, all you had to do is press a button on the controller and screenshot, or press a button and record, press a button and get in and stop recording, but it doesn't. But that's where Nintendo comes in. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this video. If you guys do like, I will see you at the end of the video and I'll tell you guys what to do. So, here we go. Alright you guys, that was fairly simple, you know, they're just showing you how to attach and detach the Joy-Con, it looks like it has a little lock, um, I'm not sh uh, to be honest with you, that lock seems like it's gonna be a pain in the ass, you know, um, if you guys noticed the guy in that video had fingernails, I don't have finger, I, I do have fingernails, everyone has fucking fingernails, what am I trying to say, I don't have long fingernails, okay, and it looks like that button's super small, so if you can't, if you don't get it just right, it could be really aggravating, but, I don't know. Personally, I think they should have went with, like, um, how you attach the wrist strap. That looked really handy. You know, just press that button down, it pops up and on. Anyway, if you guys do like this video, leave a like, share, and go freaking subscribe already, you know? Thank you all so much for watching this. Peace out, freshies, and I'll see you guys next time.